So what's going on gas gang? Today we're back with another legendary lineup between two cars that have nothing in common. Today it's old school big power four cylinder turbo manual streetcar versus modern V10 naturally aspirated dual clutch supercar. And it's gonna be nuts, so stay tuned and let's get it. To officially go. So welcome back once again to another crazy lineup between two completely different cars. In one corner, we've got a big power tuned and built all wheel drive old school highly modified analog streetcar with zero driver aids. And in the other, a modern day Marvel all wheel drive naturally aspirated bone stock supercar full of digital tech. And we're here to find out if this old school tuner car can hold its own against this new school supercar and in partnership with Race Logic, and as usual we're going to be carrying out two sets of races. First up today is a quarter mile roll race, next up is a drag race to the quarter mile. All races are best of three and the V-Box Performance Box Touch will be recording data such as 0 to 60s, quarter mile times and more to give you guys the stats on how these savages perform. Let's get over and meet both cars and their owners. So first up today, welcoming Farland from Farland Automotive to the battles, driving his formidable 2016 610 brake horsepower, 560 newton meter, V10 naturally aspirated 5.2 liter Audi R8 V10 Plus. The Audi is absolutely bone stock, but it has many attributes the Scooby does not. A lightning fast DCT dual clutch transmission, an intelligent electromechanical all wheel drive and traction control system, superior aerodynamics, and of course, zero turbo lag, to name a few. The Audi's running on Michelin PS4S street tyres all round and weighs in at 1550 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 393 brake horsepower per tonne. The R8 drives all four of its wheels via its 7 speed dual clutch transmission and quattro drivetrain. And he's going to be stepping up against Rob and his insane 700 brake horsepower, 760 newton meter, 2.35 litre flat 4 boxer big turbo powered 1996 Impreza WRX STI Type R built and mapped by Engine Tuner. Modifications consist of a fully forged EJ22 block stroked to a 2.35 litre, Cosworth cylinder heads, cams and valve train, an Exona Rotor 9569S turbo, a staged 8 injector setup capable of 2600cc per cylinder and is mapped on a Cybex S6 ECU. Unbelievably, the Type R can run up to 840 brake horsepower on E85, but has kept it on pump fuel today for a fairer matchup. The Scooby's running on Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tyres all round and weighs in at 1330 kg, giving him a strong power to weight ratio of 526 brake horsepower per tonne. The Scooby drives all four of its wheels via its six speed Quaif LSD and close ratio gear set equipped transmission. Farzan, welcome to the channel, bro. Thanks for having me, bro. Bro, you've pulled up in a sick R8. It's stock, right? Stock. Stock, 620-ish yeah, brake? About 610-ish. 610, yeah, okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. So you've got DSG on your side, you've got modern tech on your side, yeah. and it's a supercar. Yeah. <laughs> but you're racing a very, very fast, lightweight, old school killer, I guess. Pretty much, yeah. How do you reckon you're going to get on, bro? Pretty confident, I can't lie. Oh, you are, yeah? Okay, <laughs> yeah, well, that's confident, all we want. Okay, it does cool. it for you, so you can't that's really the thing. mess it up. That's the thing. So, you say in drag race and roll race, you're going to take the W? Roll race, I'm not sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> but drag race, yeah. Okay, so do you know that he's got two different maps on this car? He has been. He's <laughs> been a bit of. Talk. And he might turn it up. <laughs> might turn it up. Let's he might turn it, it up, yeah. yeah? So be prepared, yeah? Yeah. All right, bro. Listen, whatever happens today, enjoy the day. Nah, and let's race, bro. man. <laughs> thanks, bro. Rob, from Engine Tuner. How are you doing, Jamie? Thanks I for having me good, here. I am good, brother. I'm good. It's not the first time we've actually seen one of your builds on the channel. Right. Um, we did have another killer Subaru doing damage on the OG battles before. And today, you've pulled up in an absolute beast. And it's a little bit of a mix match race today. Uh, you're racing a modern supercar pretty much, mm. you know, very digital um, and this is very analog. How yeah. do you reckon you're going to get onto well, that? Well, look, I, when you, when you drive, drive a car like this, Jamie, you have to be confident. 
it's got so much ability, so much power. Um, but as you say, the two cars are not obvious opponents. The only thing they've got in common is they're both four-wheel drive. Yes. But as long as I can get this thing off the line, mm -hmm. and stay in a straight line, because yeah, I've been yeah. fighting it all the way down, <laughs> I think we can do it. Okay, epic. So also, you've got two different maps. Yes. You've always got to come prepared for these things, yes, haven't you? Yes, yeah. So how are we going to play it today? So what we're going to do, we're going to give him a bit of a chance. We'll start on low boost, okay. which is 620 horsepower. Okay. And then if it looks a little bit sketchy, <laughs> we can it turn it up to 720. But let's see, <laughs> let's see. Okay, cool. Well, listen, whatever happens today, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a good watch and some good racing. So uh, enjoy the day and uh, let's race. Thanks, Jamie. Cheers. Nice and as usual, today, the lads are gonna be battling it out for the Sugar Coat Cup and a full set of its ultra-effective, super-sweet smelling ceramic waterless washes. First up today, it's the roll races. But before they hit the strip, let's hear what they sound like. <laughs> It also looks like Rob's taking zero chances today. He's turned it all the way up to its full 700 brake horsepower straight away. He's in it to win it. Now, the roll races work like this. The left car is the pace setting car. The two agree a start speed and the left car sets it. It's then the car on the right's job to make sure he stays by its side. As soon as they hit the start marker, it's go time. Place your bets. And the Scooby starts around a car ahead, but gives the R8 a bus length gap in by the finish line. That's nuts. Let's line them back up and see if anything changes. And that time, they hit the stop perfectly. And after one of the closest races we have ever seen here on the battles, and after watching the race back many times, honestly, we have no clue who won. That one's going down as a draw. Let's line them back up for a decider. And that mighty Type R comes from behind and secures the win by around two and a half cars. Absolutely mad. Bro, no lag when he comes on boost, he goes though. Yeah, it's quick, man. He's got lag, but when it comes, it goes, bro. 
So let's just take a look at the roll race data and the best 100 to 200 kph times achieved by the pair during the runs using the VBOX PBT. Unsurprisingly, the Scooby runs the fastest time of the two, going 100 to 200 in a rapid 5.23 seconds. The R8 just off pace runs a best 100 to 200 kph time of 6.65 seconds. That's data to back up the results. And round one goes to Rob, the Scooby and the old school fanboys. Next up is the drag races and this is where Farlan will be looking to get his own back in the R8. Let's get it. <laughs> And in an incredible first race, the Scooby comes from behind to take the win by around a car and a half. Absolutely insane race in there. But we have a big problem. Jamie, bro, I think I've got a flat tyre. The R8 has suffered a puncture to the front tyre. And without a spare, it's literally game over for Farland. Unfortunately, the races have to end here. But checking the fastest quarter mile and 0 to 60 times achieved from the run, using the VBOX PBT, the cars run incredibly close times, with the Subaru just proving the faster of the two, running the quarter mile in 10.83 seconds at a speed of 136 miles per hour and drops into sixth position on the all wheel drive manual leaderboard. The R8 runs an ultra close 10.86 seconds quarter mile, but at a lower trap speed of 130 miles per hour. Unfortunately, just off pace to chart on the all-wheel drive auto leaderboard. Then taking a look over at the fastest 0 to 60 times achieved, the Audi proved the faster of the two, hitting 60 in just 2.88 seconds. Once again, not quite fast enough to chart with the top 15. The Scooby hit 60 in a very respectable 3.02 seconds and drops into fifth position on the all-wheel drive manual leaderboard. So unfortunately, due to the R8 not being able to continue, we hand the Sugarcoat Cup and a full set of its ultra effective, super sweet smelling ceramic waterless washes to Rob and the Scooby as we think he pretty much proved his superiority over the R8 in the races today. And just goes to show, on this occasion, modern tech could not outrun a well set up, big powered old school build. And although we never like to see any cars bow out early, the R8 puts up a strong fight given it left the factory this fast with no additional mods. So a massive shout out to both men for turning up and putting their cars to the test. With that said, and all things considered, let me know which one of the two cars you'd prefer to own and why. And don't forget, you can save 20% off the whole Sugarcoat product range using my unique code OG20. Links can be found down below in the description. Go on, treat your car. And if you have enjoyed today's races, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss another battle by smashing that notifications bell. And we'll be back, same place, same time, with another crazy OG battle. Peace out. Oh.